Hi guys. Oh, come on, focus. Hi guys. I had a request to do a YouTube, YouTube, I can't say it. You too. Hi guys. I had a request to do a U2 spy plane, a 3D printed catapult launch glider. So this is my first attempt. Uh, didn't use much 3D filament on it because I've done a very small one. <laughs> yeah, I've no idea if it will fly. Got to glue that piece and that piece onto that piece. And probably have to do some balancing or adjust the centre of gravity. But we'll see if it works. Well, there it is. I glued the top and the bottom of the fuselage in place. And I've actually given it a little test flight. And it does sort of fly, depending on how carefully I launch it. The only problem is it is so small, you're not going to see it when I try and film it. And it's a bit late at night, uh, just coming up to one o'clock in the morning. So we'll have a look tomorrow, see what it looks like in daylight. Yeah. I'm quite surprised how nice that looks, to be honest. Might have to do one a bit bigger. Because it's got a nice long nose, it's actually balancing itself quite well. I thinned it out on the back of the wing and uh, um, rudder and the tail and the bottom of the fuselage. I did as much lightening as the back, at the back as I could when I actually printed it, so it should balance more or less midpoint on the wing. Yeah, we'll see if we can get it to, well, I can certainly get it to fly, we'll see if we can actually see it flying in daylight. Nice bright sunny day out there. So, we'll see if we can see this flying or whatever it does. It flew a bit and then it sort of spiralled. Giving it a big lump of nose weight, see if that helps. Oh yes! Oh wow! <laughs> uh, I don't know if the camera caught that at all. I'm not too sure about trying to hit the camera with it because it might well damage the lens. It's a bit, a bit sort of solid on the front there now. Oh. Right, I've reduced that lump of nose weight. It was probably a bit excessive the first time. Still flies. Right, I've halved that weight again. Oh yes. I'll be in trouble now, damaging Nanny's rhubarb leaves. very strong but it has gone straight through it. 
That's why I'm not keen to actually shoot it towards the camera, because I think that nose will do it a bit of damage. Not too worried about paper aeroplanes, but that's a bit solid. Still, that'll do. It flies. Summary time. Well, it flies. So that's basically a silhouette or plan form of the U2, U2 spy plane. Just printed out on the 3D printer. One millimeter and half a millimeter thick in places. And then to give it a bit of balance, I've added a bit of blue tack on the nose there. Could probably have done that with printing, just by printing a bit to go on the front as a bit of extra weight. So it could have been entirely 3D printed. But then that allows me to adjust the weight. And it certainly flies across my garden with no trouble whatsoever. But I would be worried about that sticking into something. So don't point it at yourself or your friends or relatives. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.